April uh, library take and create craft is a daily a book page read. And you can pick up your supplies at um, the auto library or even call to get a kit. Um, this, since April is Earth Day, we're repurposing and crafting. So you'll get a kit with a cardboard circle and it'll have a half inch circle all the way around and half inch marks um, to guide for your um, positioning of your petals. Um, so it's, I suggest you lay some plastic down. I just took a garbage bag and then some really good glue. I used um, Elmer's Extra Strong Formula or I've used Mod Podge and this works really well to adhere right away. So next I will show you how to uh, make the petal cones. Go. Okay, uh, now we'll start to make the petals. So uh, you'll have a stack of your three and a half inch square page. And if you have it set up where the blank area is at the top and along the right side. And then we're gonna grab a piece of the paper and I'm gonna put my index finger around the top left corner with my thumb and then I'm gonna grab the bottom with my other thumb and forefinger and I'm just gonna start rolling and wrapping. Just keep shimming it around. When it gets, the corner gets to the back side, hold at the bottom and then grab your glue and just do the corner edge and put your little finger in and place it down on your plastic and just hold for just a little bit. And then you're ready to start your next one. So you're gonna grab the top left corner and the bottom right corner and just roll and wrap and twist until this corner gets to the back side. Then hold it at the bottom and apply your glue. Put your little finger in there and hold it down on the plastic for just a little bit. And then we'll go on to the small. Okay, then we'll take squares. the stack of the two and a half inch uh, book pages with the blank side on the top and the right again. And so grab the top left corner with your forefinger and thumb and your bottom right corner with your thumb and forefinger. And again, just roll and wrap when that corner gets to the back, then we'll add the glue and you'll just put it down on your paper and it works to put the, your pinky in there to just hold it for a little bit. And then you can start on the next one. If um, your forefinger doesn't work well, you could try your pinky and your thumb on the top left and the bottom right, use your thumb and forefinger and just wrap it and shimmy it around. And not all petals are gonna look the same. I mean, they're gonna be close, but they may have a little variation to them. And then also put that down on there for the glue to dry. If your glue doesn't stay, you just try it again and hold it a little longer. And that's why we had the plastic under there because it can get a little messy. And another way if you don't, um, if your fingers aren't working as well, just take the top left corner and roll it down to the bottom. And as long as you then put your little pinky in there and as long as you get that corner to the back, so you can add the glue and then uh, lay that down on the plastic. Okay, now we'll glue the petals onto our cardboard circle. And uh, we're gonna glue between the outer side and the circle that I've penciled in. So if you kinda squish the bottom part of your petal 
and apply glue on the back. Then we'll lay that in down there and it only need about an eighth inch in between the petals. So just get a, just continue with that whole row around there. And um, for now, I'll show you the next layer. And you'll do about four of these larger cones, petals, and then you'll, as you get to the center, you'll do two to three of the smaller ones. So I'll just keep applying glue. And so in between these two and where that half inch mark was, um, just bend about the same amount of glue for that row and then you'll just keep doing that row and just so your petal kind of the center point stays to the middle and then you'll glue in between those starting another row when you get that finished and then as you get to the middle then you'll just add these smaller petals. So I only marked half inch marks down one side to the center, but if you feel comfortable and you wanna mark it all the way around, um, usually just by adding that same amount of glue and bending, you kind of make your rows. So have fun. <laughs>